What does it mean to be the first female self-made billionaire in American history? <laughs> if there was ever the original influencer, it's Martha. The hardest thing is to retain cultural relevance as an older woman, and she's done it. I was considered crazy, but it worked. She was preposterously perfect. Perfect, perfect little pattern. Perfect. 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 perfect, perfect. Things look fabulous, but are they? Young women, listen to my advice. If you're married and your husband starts to cheat on you, he's a piece of shit. Get out of that marriage. Didn't you have an affair early on? Yeah, but I don't think Andy ever knew about that. I'm strict and I'm demanding and I'm all those good things that make a successful person. In the business world, that's a great trait for a man, but for a woman, you know, she was a bitch. All of that did inspire me tremendously. I was on the top of the world. And then the worst thing that could possibly happen, happened. Martha Stewart was indicted on criminal charges. This is a targeted prosecution. It's what we're calling a bitch hunt. I was a trophy for these idiots. I was dragged into solitary, no food or water. Those prosecutors should have been put in a cuisine art and turned on high. I had to climb out of a hole. I am free. No ankle bracelet. You expected her to do something soft, but she went the other way. Smoking on Kush and hot pot. What is more important, a marriage or a career? You tell me. I don't know. The cookie cutter house and the cookie cutter life was not for me. I like the way you're spinning that sugar around them balls, Martha. That's nice. <laughs> I have two mottos. Learn something new every day, and when you're through changing, you're through. I could have just been a miserable has-been housewife, but I didn't let that happen to myself. And I'm so happy I didn't.